Hey friends, let us try to solve one of the NLP problem that we see in our day to day life, the problem of abbreviations. Abbreviations means short forms. Uh, if you try to read out the sentence that is written on top of in, in front of your screen, it says NY is a nice place for business meetings. What is this NY? Uh, NY is you might have guessed this is in New York and MS executives were having a good software proposition because of the software and uh, if you are from IT field so you know that MS must be the Microsoft but what about the GM GM company if you know about automobile company then you will have to guess that GM is a General Motors correct but how or in case suppose we write all this GM for General Motors in the beginning then you actually have to remember till the end suppose this is a four uh, page paragraph and everywhere you are talking about GM and the GM explanation uh, GM expansion comes only in the beginning how will you remember so just look at the sentence that has been expanded New York is a nice place for business meetings Microsoft executives were having a good software proposition for General Motors company General Motors run in business on automobiles and Microsoft is strong in software you can see this is pretty much readable you do not have to apply your brain for uh, replacing those MS with Microsoft this is this is a very common NLP problem and this is a simple sentence just think of medical field where there are so many jargons there or think of a business a specific business domain where sometimes a TFO or uh, uh, ABC also has a meaning ABC means some company name or ABC can be anything right so uh, suppose we have a solution using which we can actually replace our sentence use uh, the abbreviations in our sentence you with the actual meanings it will be pretty much readable for a general people okay so let us try to solve this problem using python okay what we are doing is we are using a industrial strength uh, nlp package called spacey which has been released by explosion ai and also we are using a, uh, a package which has written on top of spacey called scipy scipy writers have written an abbreviation detector in their uh, scipy dot abbreviation package which we are going to leverage here we are using a, a pre-trained model of spacey called en core web sm sm for small and en for english so we are using a small uh, size pre-trained model by uh, spacey so that we don't have to train our model from scratch but uh, if you do not know how to download it let me give you a quickly show you uh, first you need to do a pip install spacey once you have installed the spacey then actually you have to run python hyphen m spacey download en core web sm so it will download uh, the small package uh, small size package uh, pre-trained model for you and after that you can actually instantiate your uh, model using uh, by this command nlp is equal to pc.load then your model name there are small size large size uh, pre-trained models available depending upon how much accuracy you need they all are uh, loaded in memory so it it all depends so for our anyway for our case small model will do the needful so let us create an object of abbreviation detector as well by passing this model to the abbreviation pipe there is a concept of uh, pipes in spacey what happens in spacey you can actually add your add the modules which are pre-built pre modules or your custom modules into the spacey pipeline in this case we are adding a abbreviation detector module this spacey is very extensible so we are using it now let us take a small text here text is equal to stack or flow so is a question and answer site for professional enthusiast programmer so rocks okay now this stack or flow so it has been given in advance so it actually remembers that so stands for stack or flow and whenever so will come it will uh, replace so with the stack or flow okay let me show you a demo so it says stack or flow stack or flow it replaced so with stack or flow is a question and answer site for so professionals and enthusiasts for programmers stack or flow rocks you can say so rocks okay and this is our big text which let us try to run it it says new york 
first what happens is it remembers what ms is there for example top executives of microsoft ms and general motors now it remember that gm for general motor ms for microsoft n y for new york okay and afterwards whatever comes it simply replaces those specific uh, uh, abbreviations with their expansions okay so this is this is the usage but let me tell you how actually it works first you created uh, you pass the text for example this big text or this sem sample text to the your uh, model you create a document out of it and after that you split you find out all the tokens token means all the words these kind of words in a token one now you have doc dot underscore dot abbreviations with you so you, you can see it has already printed ms 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 whatever the abbreviations it detected it's it is simply printing it in this case doc is your document that you have created underscore is an extension uh, package whatever you are adding to the pipeline will get added to it and abbreviations are generated by this abbreviation detector class okay now let us make a loop out of it for abbr in dog dot abbreviations means for every this nyms abbreviation alter token abbreviation dot start is equal to str abbreviation dot long form long form is the expansion of ms so what right now i'm doing is in this ab abbreviation talk uh, token this is a array you are replacing these words for example gm you are replacing this gm with general motors and then you are simply joining it joining it and printing it correct so here you can see the first line top executives of ms microsoft uh, and microsoft has been coming twice it is you can actually in this loop in this loop itself you can write your own logic that the first occurrence should not be replaced with the expansions because you can see the first line is not very looking very nice here other lines are looking good so you can actually build a logic that if the specific token is coming on the first time then do not replace it this all uh, you can play if you are a developer this this will entrust you in doing all this tweaking with this code okay so this is a very simple solution simple package even i thought of sharing it with you because i found it useful and uh, when you are working in the nlp field this is one of the problem you may have to uh, you will encounter sometime so i'll hope uh, this will be useful to you thanks for watching